Well, hey, I'm John Hassel, the Lake Guy here at Cedar Creek Lake with Abby Howley Realtors. And today we're going to start a project. It's going to be Michael's project. And he is putting in a retaining wall and a boathouse. Uh, Morgan Marine is putting it in. Thought you guys might like to see kind of what goes into uh, doing all this stuff. So we're going to periodically come by and, and take a look and look at the construction for a few minutes just to give you an idea of what goes into putting in a, a retaining wall and a boathouse. So let's get started. Well, as you can see, there's some stuff down here, and we got a couple of people uh, <laughs> watching to see what's going on. Now, right there where those two uh, birds are sitting and hoping that something will come by for them, uh, there used to be a garage right there. Now, this was a pretty good-sized garage, and it completely blocked the view that you see right here back there where those blue chairs are. Well, anyway, that is... Uh, I mean, now that, now that that's gone, there's a great view of that channel going back through there. Absolutely beautiful that he, that he didn't have before, so now he's going to have it. Uh, but you can see where the wall starts there. That's a galvanized steel wall. Uh, here's some of the remnants of that garage. And also, there was a boathouse about right there where the barge is sitting um, that they had to tear down. And that's remnants of it there, <laughs> remnants of it all over there. So they'll haul all that stuff off later, but they're getting getting quite a bit done on this wall. I'd say they're about two thirds finished with the first portion of, which is just driving the panels in the ground. And once they get those panels all driven in, then they still have to come back in, weld a cap on top of it or an angle iron on top of it. They've got to put some dead men in to hold the wall in place. So there's quite a bit of work involved in, in all of this um, just why I kind of wanted you to see it. Now they're at lunch right now, uh, so it's quiet. <laughs> so you can see what's going on. And uh, But I'll come back this afternoon while they're driving a couple of these panels, uh, just so you can see what, what it takes. But yeah, more marine out here doing a great job. Um, and this is gonna be absolutely fabulous when they get done. Well, came back. Looks like they're getting ready to drive some panel. So let's go see what that looks like. I think you're really going to enjoy this. what they do they drive each one of those in um, the first row or the first panels go in then they come back and drive the rest of them to a level point which will be about another foot down uh, but they go all the way around and they're gonna go all the way to the end of this so pretty cool how it gets done and each one of them goes in one piece at a time fits in an interlocking groove um, then they put dead men behind it interesting but somebody's got to stand in the water yeah you're right every once in a while there'll be something <laughs> you got to get out of the way but it's cold down here been raining a bunch 
couple of good days, but those are interlocking panels. They won't move. They drive it all the way down. You see how tall they are? So when they get done with it, there's more in the ground than there is above ground. So we'll come back and check on them tomorrow. Well, I'll come back at the end of the day. Let's see what they got done. Well, looks pretty good. Looks like they got the uh, entire wall in. Um, and it started moving down. Looks like that far end over there, they have gotten the uh, set where the line's gonna be, stepped down, put those in place. They'll be coming back and they'll be using these to sit in their dead men. But yeah, looks pretty good. It's a lot of work for just one day, actually two days. Um, doing an excellent job. So we'll come back and check on them again in the next day or two and see how it looks, okay?